Hello everybody, I know it seems like that I have no life because two reviews within the same day. Now, I promise you guys I do have a life, it's just that, you know, today I just have a little bit more free time on my hands because it's my day off from work, don't have anything else to do at home, I got done with my laundry and whatnot, I don't have anything else to do, I got done with doing all the things in the house and what whatnot that I needed to be done, so... Free time on my hands, why not kick back and relax and watch some movies that I have not seen in my collection. As I said in my review of I Know What You Did Last Summer, I have seen I the one uh, Stranger Calls remake, I haven't seen the original. First it was that one today, and then Vacancy, since I've never seen Vacancy. Right off the bat, I loved how how like they had obvious nods to this. Just the way how like the whole title card like was done and whatnot with you know the lettering and the font and whatnot, especially the music, it definitely gave me that Bernard Herman feel during the opening credits and whatnot. And yeah, it definitely made me think of this, and also and the fact that it even takes place in a motel. Hmm. Wonder where I've seen that before. And yes, this. This concept has been done a billion times. People go into a place where they shouldn't have gone. They, you know, that's pretty much Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Wrong Turn, Hills Have Eyes. The list goes on. Friday the 13th. But it's the way how it's done that matters most. And this film does have some flaws. I'm going to get through that first. Like... One big plot hole was that when they, when the two main characters go to the motel and whatnot to check in, they, they hear like, it sounds like a woman screaming and that doesn't make them want to go away. Well, Kate Beckinsale's character wants to leave, but Luke Wilson doesn't. I'm like, that should give you a huge red flag that this is a place that you need to leave immediately. And I was starting to question the in intelligence of the main characters. But because of everything else, and it actually made me, you know, forgive them for that little plot hole and whatnot. And this, this is a horror film that doesn't rely on gore. You know, they are trying to go for that hitch. They're trying to go for that Hitchcocky and feel. Which, I I mean, I'm certainly not dissing on gory horror films. I love some, me some gory horror films like Friday the 13th and, uh, and a ton of other ones. Wrong Turn 2, you know, the list goes on. I'm one of those kind of guys that might like, you know, the actual scary horror films, the ones that are not really scary, but they're more so entertaining, kind of, kind of, kind of like that one, or, or even like the really stupid ones, the ones that are not supposed to take seriously, but you have fun with it, like Black Sheep, about killer sheep, even Sharknado, Teeth, but, but yeah, um, but this one... This was really intense. I mean, if you're trying to get somebody into horror films, this is definitely one of the ones that I would recommend to somebody who who isn't into horror films. You want to introduce them to the genre and whatnot. And I was on the edge of my seat. I really was, and I didn't think that I would be because of that that big gaping plot hole. And man, it, I think it made up for it because that the main characters, you know, showed showed their intelligence, you know, trying like to outwit, you know, like the motel manager and all the killers and whatnot. It it was also really creepy by the fact that you know that when they figured out like that they were being filmed. Hi Simba. Hi there, honey. You know that they figured out that all those snuff films were were you know in the same room that that they were in and at first i was like why 
why would they leave videotapes for it? But then I thought, you know, maybe that they're just trying to mess with them. Because maybe they just think that in a very morbid way, they guess it will be a lot more fun to, to you know, kill them as if we really freak them out. And this film does not disappoint with its suspense. It's been a long time ever since I've been on the edge of my seat during a horror film. The last time I honestly did was probably Joyride. And I saw that about two years ago for, for the very, very first time. So I don't want to make this review too long. I, I do recommend the, the, the film despite its flaws. But yeah, um, th th this is such an underrated movie. This, when it came out at the box office, it made the same amount that it cost. It pretty much underperformed. It cost $19 million, and it only made $19 million. I just, like, like a few hundred dollars more, around there at least. But that's a real shame, because this film deserved to be a much bigger hit. It, it, that, that's a shame. I, I mean, granted, there was a vacancy too, but even though it didn't have, you know, Luke Wilson or Kate Beckinsale, so that's kind of lame, but it, it was direct to video. I haven't seen it yet. So it, it probably made enough money, you know, with its video sales and whatnot, DVD and whatnot. But yeah, um, and it's just a real shame because I could honestly see this being one of like the next, you know, big name horror franchise. But unfortunately, we don't live in that kind of world now, do we? And also what's cool is the fact that a, a lot of horror films, there, there is not really any big name actors in them. So it was actually cool for once to see a change of pace. You know, you see Kate Beckinsale and Luke Wilson in a, you know, in a, in a horror film. What I also liked, like, was, like, their character arc. They went from being one of those couples that would argue all the time. But then, but then when they were going through all this trauma, it only made them, you know, rebond with each other. And, you know, and, you know, and not, you know, and not take things in life for granted and whatnot. You know, it actually made them a stronger couple. Which is something what I've been saying for a long time. You know, bad things happen so that good things can come out from them. But I guess some people just, just don't want to be, leave me, I guess. But that's really all I got to say, guys. Two thumbs up for me, despite its flaws.